Okay, here's a cool little video on how you can do it without putting it in the oven. Get a little hair dryer and then just start preheating uh, the leather. And I always do the seams and the raw edges first. What will happen here is the pores in the leather will open and the, the beeswax in the snow seal will just absorb. And if you keep it hot, just keep laying in as much as the leather will take. Normally I take the laces out first and I do this front section first, inside and out, uh, but now I'm just being lazy. It's also easier with the liner out so you can actually push on the leather easier to smooth it. As you can see this is totally soaked and saturated but because the leather is still warm it's still taking, it's still absorbing the snow seal in. I may have to cut to an after but you can see this is the side that says Derek Sorrell and it's just saturated. The leather is still warm, but not quite warm enough. Now it's almost absorbed all of this. Oops. And don't do this hotter than your hand than your finger can handle. Okay, it's pretty much maxed on how much it'll absorb, so this should be the last amount it'll take. This bottom edge where the triple stitching is, I think, is the most important to make sure you get really, really well, because that is waterproofing 
leak area between the rubber and the leather. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. You can see here it's all absorbed in so uh, these will be fully waterproof and the leather will stay soft and they'll probably outlast another generation or two so comfortably I think these will last another 20 years and still look and feel exactly as they are now What I start on is I start on this lower stitching edge and that's where the raw leather is exposed right where it joins the the rubber boot so I lay in the snow seal right there making sure I get the stitching and the edge of the uh, uh, the leather and then I follow all the other edges all the other stitching and I make sure I coat that and then after that's done then I work my way up the entire boot and I cover that and anything that doesn't absorb into the warm boot uh, just put a hair dryer in and then that will open the pores and suck it all in it'll also darken the boots but uh, it'll waterproof them and it'll make the leather even more more uh, soft okay that's basics